Hi everyone, it is July 10, 2015. I'm really having trouble uploading anything that is like longer than five minutes. So I'm not going to read this whole article, although it is very interesting. So you might want to click on the link below, read it yourself. It was posted two days ago on Global Research. Injectable brain implant spies on individual neurons. Hmm. Electronic mesh has the potential to unravel workings of brain, this soft conductive polymer mesh. It can be rolled up and injected into the brains of mice. A soft conductive polymer mesh. Well, when I read that, I couldn't help but think about the polymer fibers that we're actually breathing in. Chemtrail aerosol polymers you are breathing. And this is a picture of the polymer fiber. But let me get back to this article. What I thought was very interesting was that they inject this rolled up into the brain. They're doing it with the brains of mice. This is a Harvard University study. And it unfurls in the brain and spies on and stimulates individual neurons. Um, and of course, they think it's great. It's a very creative new approach to the problem of recording from large numbers of neurons in the brain. They think it's great. And they're very, very excited about this. And oh, well, it could help people with Parkinson's disease. But what I really found interesting was this sentence, nanowires. Once it unfurls in the brain, nanowires poke out and those nanowires can be connected to a computer to take recordings and stimulate cells. It's somewhat um, associated with the Brain Initiative. Obama's Brain Initiative, which was launched in 2013, it, it, which is a uh, the Brain Research Through Advancing Innovative Neurotechnologies Initiative, to understand how the brain works. Unfortunately, what, what this is all about is learning ways to control every human being on the planet. And what's really interesting is that this breakthrough, the, the major experimental and theoretical challenges that they have to conquer in order to understand how the brain works. They don't even know how the brain works. They don't even know how the brain works and they're injecting things into it and well all of the medications that people are taking they don't even know how the brain works. So they're really playing around with um, an organ that is so magnificent and they're destroying it. <laughs> but they are learning how to control it. So let's get back to this. Polymer fibers. This was a picture taken of a polymer fiber that was actually in a sample along the coast of southern Oregon. And this is the microscopic photograph of this polymer fiber, which is nano-sized, which we are all breathing in. Clifford Conicorm has numerous reports of these tiny polymers which saturate the air during and after aerosol spraying operations. We're breathing in these fibers. And don't, doesn't it look like there's like nanowires off these polymer fibers? Nanowires. Nanowires that could be connected to computers which could take recordings and stimulate cells. These polymer fibers with these nanowires sticking off of it could be activated by microwave frequencies, electromagnetic frequencies that are coming from cell phone towers and satellites and many other electronic devices. Trans, excuse me, transhumanism, merging human beings with machines. The uh, desire to, to create robots out of human beings, the desire that the elite have to control all of us, 
all of us. When they say the internet of all things, that includes human beings. So, I, I'm not posting this information to scare anybody. I'm posting this information because it's important that we understand what's going on. And what is going on? The bizarre behavior that we are seeing in a whole lot of people in, in just the recent years, all the, the shootings, and then the shooter turns the gun on himself and kills himself, um, parents killing their own children because God told them to do it. We've got these polymer fibers that we're breathing in that are permeating our brains, the, the, um, the brain barrier. And I do believe that these can be activated to induce individuals to behave certain ways. Now, I'd love to hear what you think, but I have to say when I read polymer fibers, uh, polymer mesh, I immediately thought of the polymers that have been found. There is evidence that we are breathing in these nano-sized polymer fibers. You can just do a search in any search engine and you will come up with a whole lot of information. And they're actually linking it to Morgellons disease. Um, Sophia Smallstrom believes that we all have Morgellons. Those who have the fibers that are um, working themselves out of um, the bodies of certain individuals, um, she speculated that their bodies are rejecting the fibers, our bodies are not. Well, it's a theory. So, love to hear what you guys think. Crazy stuff going on, guys.